I am now creating weekly exclusive content for Patreon, so if you are interested in that, go check out the link down below. And of course, if you want to avoid the random lottery of FIFA points, you want to go straight to the source, buy the players directly, use u7buy.com and use the code TVM at checkout. What is going on guys, Tivium here, welcome back to another player review. Today we're going to do 93 Gerard Moreno. Tomorrow I've got a Cazorla review. Cazorla? Cazorla? Who knows? And I've got, or I will have, the objective player for the Turkish League. Uh, I'm recording this at half past five, so I don't actually know who that is yet. Uh, but I will hopefully, at least if it's not too difficult, get that done and get that uploaded for the morning. So look forward to that. And of course, if there are any other decent Turkish League players, I will review them as well. I didn't do an awful lot of the Saudi League, and it's not because of any one reason necessarily. And I didn't do Giovinco either. I will get around to doing it at some point. It'll probably be after Team of the Season's finished. We'll go through all of the ones I didn't do. Uh, but the reason I didn't do any of them really is because none of them really took my fancy. There are a few decent-looking Turkish League Team of the Season cards, if if my predictions are correct anyway. So hopefully we'll do maybe a couple of those. Gerard Moreno, though, is one of those sort of cheap and cheerful but high-rated and potentially great cards. 93-rated. Under 100k, I like that a lot because I think that's obtainable for nearly everyone who plays the game. Even if you're, you know, you've only just started, realistically, within a week or two, you should be able to afford this card. But the question is, should you go out and buy this card? Now, I'm playing him off the bench. That's why he's on 5 chem. It's not because I'm just playing him in a, a completely random team at left back or something. But um, yeah, he's coming off the bench. So I don't really know how chemistry works with players coming off the bench. And I'm not convinced EA know how they work either, to be honest. So I'll talk about the chem style very briefly, but I just want to talk about his natural stats because, like I said, I don't know whether the boost is going to come into effect or not. So I've got an artist on him. Uh, there is another chem style you could maybe use, but I went with the artist for slightly bigger boosts in key areas. So agility comes up from 85 to 95. Balance goes up from 79 to 84, which is good. Uh, ball control dribbling both to 99. And then, of course, vision up to 95. Crossing goes up to 89. Short passing is now perfect at 99. And the long passing is 87. But we'll get rid of the, the chem style. And we'll just talk about the card naturally because, like I said, I'm not really sure what the uh, the chem will be. So three-star skills, four-star weak foot, high-medium work rates, which is really good because it's obviously high attacking. Average body type could have been made better with a, a lean body type, but it's not the end of the world. You, not every card has to fit the meta of this game. You know, not every card has to be inch perfect. You can still have fun with cards that just do not fit this game at all. I've had a lot more fun using some of um, some random bronze cards that are sort of emulating Peter Crouch. Uh, I've done a few videos of those than I have done with quite a few Team of the Season cards because these Team of the Season cards, not all of them feel great, not all of them are enjoyable, and not all of them fit the meta of the game. So, yeah, this could be one of those cards that isn't necessarily meta or at least fitting the meta of the game, but it's actually fun to use, so who knows, right? Now, I say that because he's only got 85 agility and 79 balance, He's coming up from an 81 rated card, and that is quite important because I've got a theory that not all Team of the Season cards are going to feel equal. So there are plenty of... Um, that's the team that I, he was coming on in, by the way. He was being subbed on for... I forget the guy's name. 75 rated left mid down there on the bench. I was subbing Moreno in for him, and I was playing a 4-1-2-2 two, two, for the most part, at least. And I was trying to do the icon swaps for the French League. So that's why he was coming on as a sub. It was kind of like an afterthought, the review, really. I didn't re I mean, I did kind of plan on doing it, but I didn't plan on finishing it as a sub. But, hey, he uh, he he sort of, I don't know, showed his colours. I, I kind of knew what to expect from him. And the, the clips were all there, so why not? Just notice that that guy put an artist on his uh, team of the season, Aubameyang. Interesting choice of chem style there. This goal from... Um, Ben Yedda, by the way, really surprised me. I feel like the, the game screwed my opponent over there with a the defender because he ran straight at me and just ran past me in the end. The game's been doing that to me all day today. I, I put a, even tweeted about it. Like It's just so unresponsive today. It's unbelievable. Luckily, I played this last night, so uh, it was a different session. But either way, I digress. So cards that are boosted heavily from lower rated cards, in my opinion, don't feel as good as those. Look at the strength there. Uh, as good as those boosted from higher rated positions. So, for example, Moreno's going from an 81 to a 93. 
But if someone like Mane, who is what, an 88 rated card, was going up from that to a 93, Mane would be a better 93 rated card. Not necessarily on paper, but he would feel better in game. And that's because he didn't have far to travel and he was already a capable player. And I don't know how much truth there is in that and I'm sure we'll never find out. But it's just my honest opinion. Cards that are boosted from lower rated base cards just don't feel as good as those higher rated ones. I've got a Santi Cazorla review coming out tomorrow and he feels so much more competent and capable on the ball because he didn't really have as far to travel in terms of those stats. So for example, Moreno is coming up 15 points in dribbling, which is going from uh, 72 composure, 79 dribbling, 80 ball control and 78 reactions. And yeah, they go up all the way to 93, 95, 94, 85. But it's just not as... He just doesn't feel that great on the ball. His mobility is is questionable at best. He just feels really sluggish. In terms of pace, he's not the slowest player I've ever used. That's for damn sure. I just don't... I don't know. I don't know what it is. He just doesn't feel like a 93 a sprint speed, 90 acceleration player. I, I did... Uh, mess around with a f not Gerard Moreno and in fact not even in this review in the Santi Cazorla review I messed around with training cards not on the the player that I was reviewing but players around him and I was just giving them I've just gone out and bought bronze dribbling cards that's all they are right 200 coins bronze dribbling card and I've slapped them on a few players just to see if that does anything because in my opinion mobility in this game is the most important thing you can have and it does make a difference so the, the agility and the balance definitely do hinder his pace and obviously they hinder his mobility. So if you're looking for a really quick, agile player, this isn't it. If you're looking for a striker that is no nonsense and he just needs to have good positioning and good finishing, then yes, Moreno is that type of player because his finishing, for the most part at least, is very good. His positioning is actually probably the best thing about the card, that and the stamina and the strength because those are really good as well. Uh, not that, um, I mean, you know, if, if anyone's over 88 stamina, 87 stamina, you're laughing, really. So 90 stamina is really good. And you're not necessarily going to be sprinting through on goal with him time and time again. So, you know, that's going to be, I mean, 90 stamina is perfect for him. Not, brilliant, really. But, um, the, yeah, the finishing, the finishing was very good. The only thing about it, I would say, is if he's pressured by defenders that can be problematic at times whether it's a case of just releasing the ball from under his feet not hitting the target properly maybe it comes down to composure I'm not sure but uh, just be aware that he won't hit the target 100% of the time but when he does shot power comes through and uh, chances are the goalkeeper isn't going to be able to save it for the most part his first touch was was quite good I, I wouldn't really uh, say that the the dribbling was particularly good. I didn't really feel like that was well, that was great at all. His passing was decent, but not great. For someone with 97 short passing, I was expecting a little bit more from it. I don't really know why. Maybe it's the vision. I'm not sure, but it didn't feel particularly crisp and accurate half the time. You know, like you, you're playing the ball to someone or you want to lay it off into someone who's running onto it and it would just go completely the opposite direction. Take that with a pinch of salt, though. It might have been the game because we know what this game is all, all about and what it's like. But uh, yeah, just, just bear that in mind. So overall, should you pick this card up? And I've got it written down. If you're a Villarreal fan, yeah, why not? Because you'll probably like the card because you're a fan of him or maybe if you're a, a fan of Gerard Moreno in general, then yeah, sure, why not pick him up? Because you will. there's enough there for you to get on with him. There's enough there for you to enjoy him. But if you're not a fan of him and don't have any emotional attachment to him whatsoever in real life, then to be honest, I would probably say no, he's not really worth picking up. You know, I've got value for coins here at 80 because I don't feel as if the, the price mark really does indicate how good he is because a 90 to 100,000 coin card isn't necessarily that high. I mean, that's quite cheap these days, right? Especially for team of the seasons. But for this card, I just didn't really feel like it gave me anything that I couldn't get from, I don't know, a 40k in form. You know, someone like Lucas Mora, for example, not that they're similar necessarily, but I, I prefer like I would prefer to use his base card, which sounds ridiculous. 
but I would. And not because he fits the game or he's meta or whatever, but just because, I don't know, it's just a little bit more usable, a little bit more enjoyable, I guess. So I think the price for this card needs to come down. It won't do because of his rating, which is a shame. But if you do pack it untradeable, maybe give him a go and let me know what you think in the comments section down below. Not a terrible card by any stretch of the imagination, but does not... Uh, live up to that 93 rating that's for sure if you have enjoyed this play review do me a favor and hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you're new and until the next time goodbye football index the game changed download the app now